it is my privilege to introduce a distinguished member of the class of 2014 and my friend, Mr. Junior Bernard. Seven years ago, I was this poor boy who grew up in a popular Haitian neighborhood with no electricity, no clean water. Most of our parents had no jobs. Starvation killed children right in front of my eyes. It was always a struggle to find food, let alone to have good clothes on our skins. Having enough of our misery, I escaped from home and went to the Dominican Republic in hope to discover a better life. But it was only to realize that I was going to experience the worst of life. Now, I found myself begging on the streets of a foreign land to survive. The situation was so critical that I made my way back home as a total disaster. When I looked at the future, all I saw was darkness. I was scared. I was scared that I would never amount to anything in life. My dream was to come to America one day in hope to obtain an education. But when the people in my neighborhood heard that, they laughed at me. Some of them called me names and they said it was impossible. But one thing I told them in response, if I'm going to die in poverty anyway, I might as well die trying because a lot of them believed we would end up dying in poverty. What I had to make sure I did was that I would not let my circumstances define who I wanted to become. I, thank you. Thank you. As challenging as it was, I knew I had to find a way. Ladies and gentlemen, I studied English out of a dictionary. To practice, I would follow any American visitors I would see around my hometown. After three years of experiencing a lot of failures and rejections, consistent prayers to God, I finally came across a man with such an altruistic heart who told me that he would help me come to America. And his name was Billy Barr, sitting right here. In 2010, I went to the capital of Haiti to prepare my paperwork. But during my time there, I went through a 